It's Priscilla and it's Mighty Mondays. There's only two left, you guys. So kudos to you for being here. I wonder if anybody has come to all of them. I have. <laughs> all right, you guys, we need some support today. So it's going to be all legs. This is this is leg day, right? You need these big muscles to help you get around and do all the things you want to keep doing. So you're going to need a chair or a bench or a couch or table, anything that you can basically lean against and hold on to. As always, you need your water, uh, you need proper shoes on. We're not doing this in flip flops. We don't want anybody falling, right? Um, the intervals are going to be 30 on, 15 off. If you wanna rest with the 15, you can, or you can walk in place, right? And keep that blood flowing. I'm so glad you're here. I hope that you're feeling good and that's why you came or you want to feel good because when you're done you're going to feel better that is the goal. all right one minute warm up because this is all legs today i want you moving your legs so start lifting those feet up off the floor all righty you can see behind me i've got a bench that is what i'm going to be using today new space until i get my designated space i'm doing what i can with what i've got so you're stepping, you're lifting, whatever. Let's do a little combination move here. Bring the knees up two times, then give yourself a kick two times. So it's one, two, kick, kick like that. One, two, kick, kick. Come on. One, two, kick, kick again. One, two, kick, kick. You keep this up, and I'm going to show you what our first move is while you're finishing that. Hands are gonna be on your bench, your table, your chair, whatever you have. And you're gonna do some hydrants. So a little bit of a bend in the knee, up and down. Out and in, I should say, out and in. Now I have my hands positioned on the bench in about like a spider finger fashion. Because if I'm on the flats of my hands, you guys, I'm probably gonna feel this in my shoulders. Whereas if I'm tented on the palms, I'm actually gonna have to use other muscle groups like the pecs and the lats and the core, right? So we don't want our hands flat. We want to tent those palms as much as we can. And you finish one side. Stand up, walk it off, or rest. Then we're gonna do the other side. By the way, we're gonna do seven moves total. We're gonna try and repeat them three times, okay? You're here, you're awesome, let's go. Other side, bend, open, close. You can see why they're called hydrants. Right, activate, pull it in nice and tight. Try to keep the movement at the legs only so you're not like swinging your hips and moving your back. Just the leg. Open and close. Open and close. Open and close. You got it. Stand up, walk it off or rest. We're gonna drop right into a squat for our second group of moves here. Feet wide, right? You can bring your hands to your chest. You can swing them back behind you. I do a little combo. So when I go down, they're here. When I come up, I pull them back. There we go. And it's okay if you can't get this low. Maybe you're not you know, used to doing squats. So maybe you're just like a quarter squat right here. Remember, everything takes practice. If I'm going too fast, find a speed that works for you. Nice, walk it off or rest. While you're doing that, I'm gonna line up for this next group of moves here. I don't know why I have that weight there, sorry. On the tented palms, right? I'm gonna take one leg back and I'm gonna pulse it. As high as I can get it. I'm working my legs, but I'm also working my glutes. Tighten your core, isolate this leg. We don't want to be ranking it up and we don't want to be changing our position. It's just a little pulse. You can have a little bend in the other knee. If you need to take a break, take a break. And up we go, walk it out or rest. By the way, we're gonna rest in between each set just to see how we feel, assess our body. Ready? 
Other side, 10 toes palms. Nice straight leg, other one up, and pulse. How are we doing? Doing good? Keep it up. Keep that foot flexed for me. Toes pointed straight down. Abs pulled in tight. And we're up. Walking it out. We're resting completely. So it's going to feel like seven moves because we're alternating side to side. But in reality, it's four. Four moves. Maybe that helps to think of it that way. All right, here we are, back on the chair. Legs bent, we're gonna bring one knee towards you like this, then you're gonna send the foot back. It's a little bit of a cow kick, or I think it's actually called a donkey kick. Great for building strength throughout the whole leg. You're gonna feel this mostly in your hamstring. Keeping that foot flexed as you do this. Making sure you're not on the flats of your hands, so you have to use other muscle groups. And walk it off. Or rest completely. All right, and then we're doing the other leg. We're assessing how we feel, getting some water, and starting all over. Here we go. Other leg. You ready? Bring that knee forward slightly. Kick it back. In and back. In and back. I'm going to pause my clock. We're going to drink our water. We're going to assess how we feel. And then we're going to get back at it. And you know, I use the word assess on purpose. We never use the word scan because we all hate the word scan. Am I right? Okay. Yeah. So you're just assessing. Are you dizzy? Are you short of breath? Do you have pain? Now, I want to stipulate this by saying it's always natural if you're just starting to work out sometimes even when you have been working out to feel a little dizzy when you do some things definitely normal and natural to get short of breath and pain can often feel like discomfort or just muscle fatigue right but what you're really looking for with those three things you guys is sustained dizziness no matter what you do drinking water or sitting down walking you can't stop feeling dizzy you're gonna stop short of breath can't get your breath you're gonna stop. And pain, different than muscle fatigue, different than discomfort. Pain makes you wince and protect yourself. You're gonna stop. Any one of those three, all right? So you're assessing how you feel. Yes, you're feeling good. You're ready to get back into it. I'm gonna finish up these 10 seconds and then we're gonna go right back in. Remember, we started with the hydrant. You are not on the flats of your palms. You are tenting your palms or cat claw, whatever you like there. And, and legs are bent, booties low, open and closed. Open and closed. One leg at a time. You got it. You're doing it. Even if you're only doing three in 30 seconds, you're doing three more than you did yesterday. Awesome. Keep it up and walk or rest. Or you know what? If you're really feeling yourself today, a little jump, great for the bones. Get your feet off the floor. All right, we're doing the other side, you guys. Get in position, stick that butt back, bend your knees, open and close. It's called a hydrant for a reason. You're working the adductors, the outside of those legs. Big muscle groups, the legs, and we need them. Keep doing all the things we want to do. Make sure you're breathing. Three, two, one. Stand up, walk it out. Remember, we got squats. Coming up next, feet wide, toes out. 
Find your comfortable place. It's about sticking that butt back and coming down as low as you can and bringing yourself up. Good job. Stay with it. Three, two, and done. Walk it out or rest. Nice job. Now, I do realize that if you have neuropathy, tenting your palms might not feel good. So you could also come to fists, right? All right, so this one is the pulse, remember? You've got your body here. You're gonna take that leg up as high as you can. Keep it nice and straight and just pulse. Working your glutes. Tightening up that core, driving with the leg. You need a break, you can bring it down. Doing great, five seconds, you got this. Beautiful, you know what to do. Gotta do the other leg, guys. You ready? Let's get after it. Nice and long, nice and strong. Leg nice and long and pulse. Tighten up that core for me. Given to each of us, many assumed limbs untouched. You can keep a bend in that knee if that feels better. Eight seconds. You can do anything for eight seconds. And up, walk it out. Amazing! One move left for the second set. Then we take a breather. Then we do our third and final set. It's the donkey kick, remember? So here we are again. Little bend, bring that knee in, push that foot back. In, back, in, back. Close your eyes, embrace yourself, take it, take it, take it. You got this. Look at you, showing up for Mighty Monday. Really good. Three, two, one, walk it out or rest. We got the other leg and then we break, we drink water and we see how we feel. We got to finish strong. All right, here we go, you guys. Bring that knee in, push it back. In, back, in, back. Make sure you're breathing. Five seconds. Amazing job, amazing job. I'm gonna pause, you're gonna assess. You're gonna drink some water. Now you're gonna do that third set, maybe. Uh -huh. You doing it, you doing it? You're doing it, you're doing it, okay. Here we go. Last 10 seconds. Leave it all here. You got this. Get those hands in position. Stick that butt back. Bend those knees. We're hydrants on one side. Amazing. Third set, you feel it, yep. Yeah. Maybe you felt it with the first set. I don't know. I definitely feel it. Uh -huh. Yep, getting a little harder. Three, two, one. We walk or rest. The important thing is you're moving. We move today so we can move tomorrow. Period, full stop. Keep going. 
Here we go. If you need to take a break and put the flats of your hands down, you can. Butt out, legs bent, other side. Breathe for me. Don't hold that breath. Use your breath. I say it all the time, you know. I teach yoga. I've been doing yoga for 30 years. Breath is your best friend on and off the mat. Go to it when you need it. Use it. Woo! Stand up. Nice and tall. About to have a cat in the frame here. Maybe. She's wandering around. I don't want to step on her. Okay. Legs wide. We got a nice deep squat here. Deep as you can get it. Up and down. Squeeze. Squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. Three, two, and walk it out. Amazing, you guys. Two more moves, and we're done. You can do this. You can do this. Oh, we're pulsing. Keep going. Keep going. You got this. Keep going. Woo! There you go. Right here. Leg nice and long and pulse. Pulling that core in nice and tight. Navel to the spine. And it's a pulse. It's not a swing. It's not a jerk, right? We're right about mid line right about 90. Woo yeah down she goes walk it out or rest i am sweating i don't know about you other leg in five get into position bring it up and pulse Stay with me, you guys. We don't have much left. Even if you gotta put that leg down and rest, try again when you're ready. You can do it. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. <laughs> we got two more legs, but one more move. Let's think of it like one more move, one more move, one more move. And it's a donkey kick, which just feels really good, let's be honest. Maybe. I don't know. It feels good to me. Stick the butt back. Bring the knee in. Push it back. In. Back. In. Back. Foot stays flexed. Core stays tight. Keep it up. You got this. You got this. So close, you guys. Ten seconds. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Just letting the cat out of the room. Okay, walk it off for rest. Otherwise, she'll scratch the wood, and I don't want her to do that. Okay, this is it. We're leaving it all right here, right? Last move, last leg. Then we'll cool down a little. Here we go. Bring it in. Kick it back. In and back. Yes, you can. You proved it. Yes, you can. We are all stronger than we know. We've been forced to figure that one out, right? Come on, you got this. Nice job. Walk it out for me. Get your water. Holy cow. You did awesome. I hope it feels like you did awesome because you did. Let's just walk these legs out. Beautiful job, you guys. And then heel, heel, stretch through the legs. If your fingers are sore from tempting your palms, that's normal. Bring your hands together like you're 
squeezing those palms into each other. Let your fingers wrap around the backs of the hands. Typewriter. Still kicking those heels forward. Nice work, you guys. So happy that you stayed with me. Now you did it. Only one more Mighty Monday to go. And you know what? I feel terrible. I forgot to wear my Unite for Her shirt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I was sweating. I wasn't thinking about it. Please forgive me. I hope that you know that I love you, Unite for Her, and I'm sorry that I forgot. I will not forget for the last one, I promise. All right, you guys. Awesome job. That was it. I hope you're proud of yourself. I hope you're proud of yourself. I am very proud of you. And I hope you have a wonderful day.